Hey y'all, hey y'all, guess what? You know she had to save the best for last. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Miss Chrissy. Christina with a K. Christina with a K. Hey, hey. I'm your girl, Miss Chrissy. Welcome to my channel. If you are here from Kyra Shan's channel, welcome. This is a very special, special edition. And yes, this is a collab. That's your girl, Kyra Shan. She is the YouTube queen. When I say queen, you look up queen, Kyra Shan. You look up friend, Kyra Shan. You look up sisterhood, Kyra Sean. And yes, if you don't know who she is, honey, you need to check her out. Kyra Sean is that girl. She uploads every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m., baby. And you want to know what? She has a family. She's not only a mom, she's a wife, she's a veteran, and she got a full-time job. Kai has been the utmost supportive. When I say real she has showed me that it is possible to be friends with someone that you have not even met but kai don't you worry sister cousin i know you i know you boo we going on that cruise we going on a youtube cruise one of these days <laughs> I'm so grateful to have met her. She is a helper, a supporter, a friend, and she's showing us. She is genuinely showing all of these women in these YouTube wig bay streets that it is possible for all of us to grow. And that's why I love her. And I'm so honored to be a part of this collab. So make sure you check her out. I will leave a link below. And um, let's just go ahead and get started. this unit so this is the bobby boss again miss origin designer mix series this is a human hair blend guys again i have mentioned before in a multiple videos how much i love bobby boss i first saw this unit on the hearts and cake 90 i'm pretty sure you know who she is she put her in her in her story and girl she was slaying that unit so i said i needed it and i'm so happy that i got this unit so this unit is a hand tied 13 by 6 unit. It is a frontal lace synthetic blend unit, okay? It is not a human hair unit, but girl, when I say this feels like human hair, yes, she definitely feels like human hair. So I did review Olivia with the synthetic lace front as well, and I'm noticing that these come with these customizable baby hairs. I wasn't messing with them baby hairs this time, y'all. No, 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 no. We can't be... Ha no, them baby hairs are intimidating. Those adults are not ready for me. I, I don't need no more adults. I got kids. I don't need no adults in this house. Nobody else other than the husband. I just need the wig. So I put the... <laughs> I put the baby hairs back this time. And I'm actually pretty happy with the way she turned out. This is actually day two of wearing this unit 
I initially started on camera and I was going to go ahead and finish up that video with you guys on camera, but it was a little tricky with this unit. Let's just go ahead and talk about the pros and the cons of this unit. So one, I, this is day three of wearing her. Um, I secured this unit. I was, I, I couldn't figure out if I wanted to go with glue, with, with free spray, if I wanted to go ahead and just silk her down those baby hairs initially on my mannequin, as you saw. I was doing so much with this unit because I said I gotta come right with y'all. So what I've done is, yes, I put her on after putting her on with that foam, that wrap foam, and I put her on like about a day after she she dried. And I found that that kind of helped with maneuvering the baby hair some more, even though I just went ahead and kind of brushed those baby hairs in. I did put the baby hairs kind of like right here and just right here for the sake of doing it. But I secured this unit with some glue, y'all. And I've worn this unit for two days straight. And look at her. Seriously. Like, I'm still wearing this unit, y'all. Like, she definitely is in place. She is coming off like a human hair unit. So this is a blend. But what I like about this unit is the fact that, like I said, I'm wearing her for the second day in a row. I just went to bed, tied her down, put my bonnet on, and she's not tangling, y'all. Like, I'm really impressed with the fact that my hands are still moving through this unit. She looks like this in the front. In the back. So she's still, she's still moving a lot. They said on the package that this is body movement and it's like human hair. Seriously, this is like a human hair lace frontal, y'all. I did go in with my little blow dryer brush. I put it on low heat and I just kind of brushed it down a little bit when I woke up just to kind of, kind of get a little bit of those snags out. But she feels so good still. And I'm really, really impressed with the way she still is feeling, the way she still is working. One thing that I don't like about this unit, um, well, I, I don't want to say I don't like it, but one thing that I did have some problems with is initially I filmed this video and then I was going, I was going to continue with it. But I was having some trouble with this lace, y'all. So this is a brown lace. Yes, Brown laces are a little bit better than those wet laces and, and all of that. But what I did find is that I had to blend her a little bit. Come here, guys. So I had to blend her a little bit with some powder. And then I also went in with my freeze spray. And I kind of sprayed my comb. And I just kind of pressed her in just to kind of melt that lace a little bit. So after I did that, I found that that kind of worked a little bit better than what I was trying to do with day one. Just kind of going in with that free spray and pressing it down and, and, and securing it and tying it. That definitely did help. I would suggest maybe going in with like lace tint spray or your foundation powder just to kind of match her up a little bit because that was a little bit tricky for me. And initially, y'all, I wasn't going to post this video. I, I was not feeling her. I was not feeling her. It doesn't even help that these kids are out of school. These kids was out of school and they be messing up these videos. But you know what? Y'all, y'all want to hear something? What y'all hear right now? Damn, they are not home. Also, y'all, back to the wig. That's why we're here. Back to the wig. I do want to also point out, guys, that these knots are a little bit big. I wasn't too happy with that initially. So, yes, this, this hairline is, like, pre-plucked, but these knots are a little bit big. So, it kind of does show with that hairline to me. Um, but then again, it's a synthetic unit. So it's like, what what do you want? You want human, you want synthetics. You get what you pay for. But I don't think that's, it's too bad. Like it still works. Also guys, I'm sorry, I forgot to talk about the cap. The cap to me, if you see over here, again, this is day two for me. And I thought that maybe this time, I did mention this in my Olivia video. I thought that if I secured her with some glue, she would come all the way down. But I'm noticing that it still kind of was a struggle to pull it down a little bit to the front. Like it's not quite getting right here on my hairline. 
So I did go and swoop my own baby hairs down and kind of cover her up. I don't know, y'all. I just might have a super big head because the hairline didn't come all the way down. But that's not a make or break for me because it's able, I was able to cover her up, but she's not bad either. Guys, I'm loving the fact that this, you can part her right there. Like, you can part her in the middle. You can part her on the side. You can even put her up. And kind of look, look how cute that is. Like, you can do so much with this unit. I'm really loving the texture on this unit as well. She's not silky straight and she's not too thick. Like, her density feels really good. Like, I was playing with her these last couple days and putting her on a ponytail. And I was swaying that ponytail. I was swaying it, girl. Because she feels really good. I really feel like I literally just got a human hair wig install. And I love the fact that I can still wear her two days later. Um, I am getting a little bit of shedding. But it's nothing that's not bad. But it is a little bit. Um, as far as snags, not really getting any snags, but like I said, once you do, just go in with your little heat brush or blow dryer or whatever, or brush her out, she'll be fine. I do like the fact that these ends are kind of tapered. It's like not a, a straight cut, if that makes sense. It's like kind of tapered down, and then the ends are kind of tapered. Anyway, 26 inches, great, beautiful hair. I have her in the color natural black. There's nothing really much else that I have to say about this unit except you need to buy her. You need to buy her. <laughs> we going into 2020 with bomb hair, bomb wigs. We doing this y'all. 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you check out Kyra Sean's channel. I will leave a link below. And until I see y'all, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.